Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Christy if you're new here. If you are, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment below, especially if you like makeup tutorials, makeup challenges, reviews, giveaways. We do it all on my channel. <laughs> Anything beauty, fashion, style related, we do it all on my channel. So anyhow, today I thought we would do uh, a requested video by one of my subscribers uh, about my perfume collection. Anyways, um, yeah, so I guess we'll just get started. I have them all kind of laid out on my table here, and I'm going to try to describe the fragrance to you as best I can. Um, but I'm also going to try to put up the notes of each perfume. If I can find them and link them for you, I will. And I also will link them in the description bar if you're interested in picking yourself up some perfume. Um, a lot of times, as I've told you in previous videos, check out Amazon because they have great deals. And also that uh, fragrance.com, I believe it's called you can find some really, really great deals on perfume. So don't always just go to Sephora or Ulta because you'll be paying full price. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, first one that I want to mention, my signature fragrance and has been since I was probably like 17 years old. And y'all are probably going to laugh about this because it's one, it's not that pricey. And two, it's not high-end what you would consider high-end like designer but it's the Victoria's Secret Heavenly and looks like this and they have changed the bottle over the years and um it's just such a beautiful woman you know like sexy scent but without being overpowering and I'm telling you a lot of times you won't victoria's secret fragrances it's kind of hit or miss where they'll last all day long you know what i'm saying um but this one i swear people would know that i was coming when they would smell heavenly victoria's secret heavenly they would be like yep that's christy she, she's around somewhere <laughs> she's coming down the hallway or something because yeah it would just be and everybody would always ask me like oh my god what are you wearing and I would just be like Victoria's Secret Heavenly and they're like you're kidding me I thought it was some like huge designer fragrance but it's soft it's pretty it's very feminine a little bit of floral but not overpowering not that grandma floral you know what I'm talking about um but yeah it's very soft and you know bridal i would think of i smell flowers a little bit of vanilla but not overpowering if you don't like vanilla a little bit of musk in there but yeah i'm telling you this is one of my signature fragrances i've non-stop worn it since i was about 16 17 years old something like that good one next uh this has been one of my favorite fragrances for a very long time. It's Marc Jacobs' Daisy Dream. And yes, I know this bottle is empty pretty much. There's like a little drop left. I'm telling you guys, I wear perfume on the daily. So I go through it super quickly, unfortunately. But um, this bottle is also very, very important to me. I did order a new one recently. Um, but it's been hard for me to order because, um, this one holds a special place in my heart. I will never get rid of this bottle. It was the last thing that my grandmother ever purchased for me before she passed away, um, just last year. So I used it very sparingly and it's, you know, very special to me. So I will always remember her when I wear this fragrance and so... It was hard for me. I didn't wear it for a while and I didn't want to reorder it. But anyways, getting on with it. Um, this one, it's more of a fresh, cooler scent with some floral, but it's got more of like a, um, like a beachy scent, but again, not overpowering. It's one of those cool, clean, fresh scents that I like. I either like more of a florally vanilla scent or i like those cool beachy 
you know, coconut, you know, but not overpowering. Everything has to be kind of in the middle, you know, nothing crazy or overpowering. That's why I know so many people love Victor and Ross Flower Bomb. I can't. I've tried it so many times. For some reason, it may work on other people great, but it stinks on me. Like, I absolutely hate it. And no offense to those of you who love that um, flower bomb. I just can't get past it. So, anyways, yeah. This is definitely one of my favorite perfumes. Next, uh, very sexy, I think, girly, romantic. Obviously, it's Beyond Romance by Ralph Lauren. Um, bottle looks like this and this one again I wear pretty sparingly um, I kind of have to be in the mood for it it has more of a I want to say it's got peony in there it's a little bit more sweet and I don't always love sweet fragrances I have to be in the mood um, and they can't be super crazy sweet you know like sickening sweet to where I feel like I'm wearing candy all over no no um, but it is soft and, um, romantic. Again, I smell a little bit of peony, vanilla, musk, and, uh, yeah, just some floral, but again, I think it may even have some patchouli in there, if I remember correctly. Um, so it tones those, um, citrusy, fruity flavors down, flavor scents that's it. <laughs> but um, it's a beautiful fragrance, but again, I have to be in the mood to wear it. Um, the other one that I is similar to this, um, that's sweet, um, but also kind of florally, and it's called Sweet Like Candy, I believe, by Ariana Grande, and I'm not huge into celebrity scents, um, but I fell in love with that fragrance. Uh, I don't have it on me. Um, I have another one by her that I'll show you in a second, but I'll put it in a picture right here. It's got the little pink cotton ball on it. looks like um, cotton candy, and it actually smells like cotton candy, but good. You know, you want to almost like eat somebody that's wearing it. It smells really, really good. So um, the other one that I have by her... Um, doesn't have the name on it. Looks like this. It's her uh, like cloud perfume. This one, um, I got it as a gift. That's why you see it's pretty full. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite perfumes. It's got a powdery scent to it and it's pretty strong, like intense. Uh, again, I like my fragrances kind of mild. I don't want to anything overpowering like crazy overpowering but yeah it smells very powdery it almost reminds me of the old shower fresh powder that my mom used to like bathe in after she got out of the shower and like squirted powder all over herself that's what it reminds me of so it's not one of my favorites but if you can find her sweet like candy which, I mean, I'm sure it's everywhere. I think I picked my last bottle up at Ulta. It's not that pricey, but it does. It smells like a dream. It smells like a cotton candy dream. And I know some people are like, really, Christy? But no, it smells good. Not just for like teenagers. Now, this might surprise you. And I did just order another one. This is the mini. It's the Gucci Guilty Black. Now, this is a full-on date night sexy, sexy scent that is just... This one is strong, I will admit. So, go easy on it. Um, it's very musky. It's almost um, reminds me of men's cologne, which I absolutely love. But it's um, very musky, very, you know, patchouli, leatherish. Um yeah, it's for that, you know, sexy girl out there, you know, on a date night. Oh, yeah. So, I love Gucci Guilty Black. Um, I think the other one that I tried was in the gold bottle. I forget the name, but I still love this one a lot more. So, that's expensive, but it smells amazing. 
Okay, another one of my favorites is the Elizabeth and James um, Nirvana White. Now, the black one that they have, not a big fan of. That one was too strong for me. This one has, again, a very fresh um, scent to it, like uh, almost like you just walked out of a beach or the ocean. And it's got a teeny tiny hint of floral, maybe gardenia in it. Um, uh, again, some musk. But yeah, it's um, it's a little bit stronger and sexy like the Gucci Guilty Black. But it has more of a cooler, fresher scent to it rather than that like strong man scent to it. So this is way more feminine than the Gucci Guilty Black, but again, it's uh, much stronger than a lot of the other perfumes that I wear. So it must have some sort of like patchouli musk, you know, in there as like the top notes or whatnot. Um, this one, again, I've loved for years and you can find it on Amazon for very, very cheap. Does it last a long time? No. It's the David Rolf Cool Water. This is a full-on fresh scent, like straight up out of the beach, you know, like you almost sprayed, I don't want to say suntan lotion because that's not a good description of it. Again, I'll put the notes up, but uh, yeah, it, this one reminds me of the ocean, like that ocean breeze, that tropical scent with the tropical flowers and tropical ocean, -y, you know, sea salt breeze. But yeah, I've always loved this perfume. Unfortunately, it does not stay on too long. You do have to kind of keep, you know, uh, respraying it and putting it back on, but you know. You get what you pay for. I always say that, you know, that's why I told you the difference in my one video between the eau de toilette sprays versus the parfum sprays. Um, you always want to try to get the parfum because that will last you much longer and that's why they are much more expensive than the eau de toilette. The eau de toilette is still basically like a body spray, a body mist. You know, you're going to get that fragrance, you're going to get that mist, you know, but it's certainly not going to last nearly, nearly as long as the perfume or the cologne. Um, the next celebrity fragrance, believe it or not, um, is by Jessica Simpson, and it's called Fancy. I believe I got this at Marshall's, and I just happened to be walking by the fragrances, smelled it, and was like, hmm, I like this. This has got a lot more vanilla into it, like amber, rose, vanilla, um, some musk in there again, so it's not super florally. Again, I don't like anything super grandma florally, like... Chanel number no. five, no offense, but ugh, the minute I smell that, I instantly think of my grandmother's. It's just too um, mature for me. I'm sorry. I just can't. Um, the Chanel Chance, I believe it's called. That one's not too bad, but the Chanel number no. five, no, no. It's, um, yeah, every time I smell that, I'm like, where's the golden girl? <laughs> Where's she at? She's somewhere. And it's so strong, it's just overpowering for me. But yeah, this one uh, is very nice and light, um, but it's uh, got warmer scent to it. Again, like the vanilla amber musk to it. So it's fancy, like the name says. Um, the next one is, what's this? Uh, juicy, what's this? Viva La Juicy Glossier. Bottle looks like this. It's one of the juicy fragrances. Um, I know she has quite a few. This one in particular I liked because, again, it wasn't too sweet like candy. You know, florally, you're going to hear me say that a lot. I don't like anything like, ugh, you know, choking me on 
a bunch of like roses and gardens and candy. Like I don't want to smell like I just walked out of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Some people may like that, but nah, I'm good. Um, this has got, um, what is this? Let me spray. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it's got some peony, gardenia, maybe some white musk. Because it's not as strong as the regular. Um, but yeah, it's still florally, but it's very toned down. So it smells good with my body chemistry. It's not too overpowering. Um, now we're going to get into more of my tropical scents. Ascada Taj Sunset looks like this if you've never tried an Ascada, i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly fragrance um i know you can get them on a uh, hot look a lot of times hot look and this is full-on tropical beachy like you're in hawaii somewhere <laughs> or bali or maui and it's got those beautiful like orchid scents to it and uh yeah it's just super super tropical and oh makes me want to go on vacation it's kind of citrusy but in a good way like that hawaiian tropic way yeah oh my goodness i want like a mojito when i wear this scent tell you what um, the other one, uh, very similar to Heavenly, it's Victoria's Secret Dream Angel. Now, again, this was a gift. Wasn't something I picked out for myself. I think my mom picked this up for me because she messed up. She thought it was Heavenly and she got Dream Angel instead. Um, this one, wow, I'm going to smell like a perfume factory. This one is much sweeter than the Heavenly. Yeah, see, this one's a little too overpowering for me. This is why I don't wear it that often. Um, obviously, these don't, it, these, um, you know, don't last as long, so they kind of calm down pretty quickly. Um, best way to wear this is spray it in front of you and walk through it so it's not just like, boom, all over your body. But it's nice. It smells like, oh, like powdery and like you know the old perfume that was in like a, a powder puff where you would like stick your powder puff in it and you know, the women would like pound my grandmother used to have it it was like perfume but in a powder and it had a powder puff and it would just like you'd push it all over your skin and you know the fragrance would last all day that's what the dream angel smells like to me it smells like that powder puff perfume to me like sweet feminine but yeah it's quite a bit sweeter than the heavenly the heavenly is just pure like it says heavenly you couldn't pick a better name for that perfume i tell you what now my other two favorite favorite scents and i have mentioned these in my recent videos that you see uh this year it's by giorgio armani the blue one is called Ocean. Had to order a new one of these. You see, I love my fresh scents, those tropical scents. This one, yeah, full on like the ocean. Smells like sea salt and it's got some sweetness and tropical flowers to it. Um, but yeah, mainly just full on freshness. Like you, that's the ocean, perfect name. Now the other one is called Aqua and it's got the green cap to it. They also have one with a pink cap and a yellow cap. The yellow I think is called Sun and the pink, I'm not quite sure on the name, but that's the much sweeter one. So I like these two fragrances the best. The Aqua, again, is another very fresh scent, but um, it pulls more musky. It's a little bit um, more like a men's cologne, so uh, that's what makes this a sexier scent to me, whereas this is a fresher scent. 
that's how I would describe the differences between these two. Aqua is like almost tipping that balance to smelling like a man's cologne versus a full-on. I would compare this one almost to cool water. Okay, very similar in sense. Hopefully I'm explaining these well. I'm sorry guys, I'm not the best. Um, another one, I don't know where my full size bottle is, so I had to bring up my baby. It's the Tory Birch, and I think this is like her original scent. It has like the orange cap um, with the gold on it. This one is kind of like the Gucci Guilty Black. Um, it's strong, so it's gonna last a long time. It's very musky, and again, it's got that leathery scent to it. And, uh, yeah, it's hard to... Whew. I am going to be... I'm going to have to take a shower after all this perfume. This one has a little bit more citrus to it, but with the leather and musk and patchouli. Yeah, so it's a little bit more citrusy than the Gucci Guilty Black, but very sexy scent and very, it so, smells very elegant and fancy like, like a rich bitch would wear. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like the Chanel Chance or another one of my absolute favorites that I don't have here is the Chloe... Oh, uh, not the original Chloe. That stinks. Um, the Chloe in the pink, like with, with the pink bow. I'll put a picture here if I can find it. The other one that I don't have a full size of right now anymore, the last one is Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. Looks like this. I'm sure you've all seen it before. And that's exactly what it smells like. It smells like a bouquet of flowers. But again... Very soft, very elegant, uh, another type of bridal romantic scent. Very similar to the Ralph Lauren Beyond Romance and the Heavenly, you know, that very feminine, feminine girly scent, but without being overpowering or too floral. So, yep, those are definitely my absolute favorite, favorite perfumes and ones that I highly recommend to people. Uh, the few that I don't have that I'll put pictures in, those I also um, are big time fans of. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my perfume collection. I know it's not, you know, anything huge like Kathleen Lights. That girl's got some perfume. Holy cow. But <laughs> maybe one day. I don't know. But yeah, they're quite expensive. So like I said, if you're looking for a good bargain on perfume, check Amazon out and check that fragrance.com. I'll try to link those sites below because you can get some good discounts. And also like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, you can sometimes hit a good deal on a nice perfume. Um, or even Kohl's, yes, because I believe that's where I got the uh, Juicy Couture um, perfume, this one here. I believe we got this from Kohl's. So, yeah, you never know where you can find them. So, look around. And the Company Cosmetics store, if you can ever find one of those, you'll get great deals there as well. So, yeah, just keep an eye out on for deals. You never have to pay full price for a perfume. Trust me on that one. So, and as I said, Victoria's Secret, especially the Heavenly, I will stand by this fragrance for the rest of my life, and it's not very expensive. It's much more expensive than it used to be, which pisses me off, but, you know, all prices gotta go up. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you all are doing very, very well, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, well,